Girl, she's really, really good. She's easy on the eyes as well. Oh, thanks. You and uh, right. just the lotion in the basket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you, and thank your mom for lowering my book down in the basket so you can enjoy it. <laughs> thank you very much, Adam. Thanks. She drink big It rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. It rubs the lotion on the skin. It does this whenever it's told. Now it places the lotion in the basket. Now it places the lotion in the basket. It rubs the lotion on its skin or it else it gets the hose the again. It on its skin. Put a lotion in the basket! <laughs> Brent. Yeah, get it on. What's going on, Brent? So I'm dating this really intelligent girl. Uh, I'm from Boston, so I grew up in kind of a fighty culture. I've lived in California, kind of chilled out on the pot and leveled out. I have an alcohol problem. It's not anymore because I don't drink. I'm going to about two years. She's not ready to quit. Mm-hmm. She kind of kicked me to the curb recently, and mm-hmm. I, um, she went away and masked, masked the whole thing, you know, with while I sat in, like, the fetal position rocking. What's your question? Oh, I'm sorry. When is, uh, when is enough enough? How is the sex? It's, it's, it's good. great. It's I'm really sure it's good. great. He right. didn't say great. He said it's good. As no, a matter of fact, you know, let me call you on your shit, brother. You said it's 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 good. That's not great. Yeah. <laughs> ask yeah, me hey, something, I Adam. Think... Ask me something. Dag. Yeah. How's your daughter doing? It, she's uh, she's good. Yeah. Uh, no. You want to nope. hear great? No. Nope. You want to hear great? Your film career. <laughs> it's better than yours, motherfucker. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> and Alec Baldwin. Hey, Tim. Just on eight, man. Good morning. What time is it there in New Zealand? Uh, it's actually 5 o'clock tomorrow in the evening. I love that. I wonder how my What day... happens in the future? Yeah, I wonder how my day was. I know. <laughs> it's been a gorgeous day here. Oh, man. I'll tell you. Hey, sorry yeah. to interrupt. Uh, Alec Baldwin on line two. Alec Baldwin on line two? Yes. Hey. All right. Hold on a second. Hey, uh, Tim, good luck here. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, shit. Baldwin's on. Hello? I dumped Tim from Auckland to speak to you, Alec Baldwin. You got a guy calling you from Australia? It's five in the afternoon over there. What's he giving yeah, a shit? Yeah, you got plenty of time to figure it out before he goes to bed. Uh, you look like you're in phenomenal shape. Something's going on. You got the AIDS? You getting in the Pilates? What's going on? <laughs> or both? I'm taking that Pilates you take when you have AIDS. It's, it's AIDS Pilates. <laughs> take this in the spirit in which it's intended, Alec. But Lay it you, on me, you seem like an alcoholic. <laughs> To be fair to your friends who don't know you that well. <laughs> you know what I mean? You have all I'm the characteristics of, that, of an alcoholic. Of <laughs> it's a good thing. That, 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 that means that a man is just sexed by options. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I seem like an alcoholic. Oh, wow. He's good people. And the winner. Yeah. Hauler of the year. Alec Baldwin. <laughs> yeah, just called in. Is in Auckland? I thought it was in New Zealand. It is. I think it is, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Poor Bat's going to be devastated. Yeah. By the way, before Bat called you that mm-hmm. day, mm-hmm. he pulled up in front of the ammo store, mm-hmm. had the engine idling, right. looked in, mm-hmm. and then thought, oh, I'm going to give it one more chance and call Adam, and then pulled off. It's what true. was with him doing the Silence of the Lambs? He's insane, right? I think that our guest said he sounded like that. I know, but most guys can't go from sort of nut job to minor bird like that. You know what I mean? By the way, it's like Psycho. If his mother isn't sitting in a chair in a closet tied to it after being dead for seven years, I don't know who is. Yeah. (laughs) What? But then some si- some crazies or, or slightly yes. altered people mm-hmm. uh, can't hold a normal conversation. But as soon as they start reciting, you know, written lines or lines they've heard in movies or song lyrics, they're like they're like savants. You know what like I mean? Like most but, actors and actresses. Yes. Thanks. No, I know. I know what you're saying. But was he putting us on? Maybe he was putting us on the whole time. I think he just knew the, the words of right. the movie. All right. I think he's fake. I don't know because he was Either very. Way, it was one of my finest moments. He's very specific. Yes, that, that was, was Brian at his best, and it makes it makes it all worthwhile when Brian has a moment like that. Yeah. All worthwhile. Mm-hmm. All That's, we it. should call it the Brian Bishop Show. Mm-hmm. The the moment you know where he said he lost a couple of fingers to a fan belt. 
and then they moved him up into accounting or something like that. That was very specific. Like most guys just go, I lost my job because I right. lost my family. No, he the mom's said they moved. Thing. They said they said She's he cliche. moved him to another part of the business, sort of feeling sympathetic, but realized he couldn't hang. Do with you know why people. they moved him? By the way, hmm. they had a meeting and said, if this guy. Gets fired. He's, he's going to kill coming us all. Back. Yeah. He's coming he's back. He's coming back in a couple of weeks, six. and that'll be it. Ooh, keep uh, your friends close and your enemies closer like that. Mm-hmm. All right. Now we have uh, one more before we take a well-deserved break. Uh, this is Guest of the Year. The nominees for Guest of the Year are Scott Thompson. You met this couple. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Did they know who you were? Oh, yeah. It was very evident. They, 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 they'd seen me in my show. Right, yeah. right. And so they'd they, been drinking during the show, and they'd been they kind of caused a bit of problem. They were been loud and during during a stand up show. Yeah, stand up show. Uh huh. Where was this? What city was this? Calgary. In? You, so after the show, they come up to you backstage. No, right, right, right in the front, in front of people. She's like, "Want to blow my boyfriend?" And I'm like, "Yeah." We ended up having an amazing night, and we ended up back at their house, and, and we got drunk, and well, she made him strip to Led Zeppelin. It was just wow. like a dream come true. And wow. then we all had sex together, and then at the end of it... In through the outdoor. We all... <laughs> you know, Michael Bean. Who would you rather go down on, your mother or your father? Mm. I feel like because my dad has not read my book yet, I'd be a little rough on him downstairs. You know? <laughs> so it's mommy. Let's just I say, understand. I understand my dad's a bleeder. You're... Fine. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't want that either. Infection right? sets right. in. Yeah. He's going to be 80 in a few months. <laughs> you know what I mean? How'd your dad go? Well, I was sucking him <laughs> off. Open casket. Right. God rest his soul. Right. So you're being your damn if He died doing what he was that. disgusted by. <laughs> you know what I mean? Who wants Getting to say that? Getting blown by his son. Yeah. And besides, and then I don't want to overcompensate. Well, how'd your dad pass? What do you care? What the fuck? 20 questions? Oh, you fucking Colombo? He's dead. That's enough. That's enough. It sure isn't because I sucked this cock the wrong way. That's right, goddamn sure. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. No. <laughs> Mommy. Yeah. But what if you notice yourself get a boner? <laughs> Andy Dick. I was with a girl, and she, gosh, she was really hot too. And just she was, she was young, and I was young at the point, at this point. And and there was just something; it just didn't smell right down there, mm-hmm. right? Just didn't smell right. And long story short, she had lost a tampon up there for weeks. Toxic shock syndrome. I found it. Oh, you did, and it was black. Really, and it was. I started. I started. I didn't. Oh, <laughs> I didn't vomit, but I was dry heaving heavily. Right. I had something in my. Thank stomach God you had vomited moments earlier, <laughs> because of the booze. Albert Brooks. My daughter started to come out. She come Kent was coming too. She's out. gay. She 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 will be. <laughs> I know my son is going to be, I now just pray, he's going to be a top. I'm, I'm starting oh. to manage my expectations. Wait a minute. So you're on a podcast right now actually using a joke that your son will be a top. <laughs> no, I'm hoping. Don't jinx it. <laughs> I have absolute huge theories that this, uh, and I can prove it, that the sexes are merging. Oh, it's all in my book as well. It's an X. I'm saying we're about to cross. Yeah, yeah. And not I, about. It's not. It's not like in the next generation, but we're heading. There. We're getting there. And I said, you know, you make, you can make gay jokes, but by the time my son gets to high school and he's going to his private school in Santa Monica, it's going to be the opposite, which is, uh, hey, Corolla, he's not sucking cock. Let's get him. And then he's going to have to make excuses. No, I'm just tired from sucking cock. I'm just taking I, a rest. I, you know what I'm yeah, saying? I, I don't know about that. School. You don't? You don't know? <laughs> That's just, I don't know, that discussion on the playground. Uh, you're right. Hey, Corolla, <laughs> he's not sucking cock. He thinks, get him. he thinks he's too good to what, suck cock. What school is that? I'm saying it's in Santa Monica in 2027. <laughs> That's all high. I'm saying. All I'm saying is this. Hey, Corolla. <laughs> You don't butt fuck, I butt fuck. <laughs> Let's get him. <laughs> and Brian Cranston. The worst day of my life is when my wife's mom, Helen, went nuts and she wouldn't take her medications. I said, Helen, listen, there's an ambulance outside and you need to go in the ambulance to the hospital to get your medication. 
or we'll sit here and wait for a couple of cops to show up, and then they will force you into the back of the ambulance. But maybe she would get good cop, good cop. <laughs> Hi. 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 Do I smell muffins? Are oh you making? You are the cutest. That is darling. Don't worry. I'll run and go get your medicine for Yes, you. I'm sorry. Which closet is the yeah. slipper closet? You know what? I'll find it. My goodness, this is great what you've done here. Oh, you are not 75. Get the heck out of here. <laughs> oh, boy, hard to pick. Those are good guests. Yeah. That was I felt, funny stuff. And I felt just as disgusted and entertained with the Andy Dick black tampon story this time around. Yeah. I hadn't thought about that in a that really long great. time. No, how about Scott Thompson just basically saying I that? I had forgotten about that yeah. as well, yeah. Yeah, Kids in the Hall. He did uh, did a stand up gig. Hung I'm up, gay. Met up with some swingers and just sort of went party down with them, sexed them down. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, Larry, it's basically life for you on the road, right? You'd be surprised. Uh, <laughs> well, the winner, <laughs> guess of the year, Brian Cranston. Everybody, great guy. He was so good. He brought his wife and his daughter out with him. He's a great kisser too. Ooh. Not really. Ooh, yeah, I know. He was a uh, he was one of the one of the most fun guests. He is just just a good guy. And I think when you're a good guy, it's hard to wring that out of you no matter how many Emmys you mm. win. Another guy who's a great guy, Larry Miller sitting in with us. We're doing the Ace Awards. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Hey, how come no one's dancing? I don't know. All we've been hearing is songs about consensual sex by adults. Hey, everybody. Tired of songs that aren't about statutory rape? Statutory rape rock. If you enjoy the statutory rape rock as much as I do, and let's face it, they just don't write statutory rape songs like they used to. Statutory rape rock. Get out of my mind. There's always a veiled threat like, get out of here before I have the time to change my mind. Like, meaning, if I have one more beer, I will rape your ass on this kitchen floor. Statutory rape rock. When the song She's Only 17 came out by Winger, I was probably 12 when I knew that was wrong. There's something I can't talk about, but I can sing about it. Statutory rape rock. <laughs> if I were to buy all these songs, I would spend over two hundred dollars. Right. Hey, little girl, is your daddy home? Statutory rape rock. <laughs> if you were to go to stores and buy these individually, it'd be over fifteen thousand dollars worth. Of well, now there's a you know there's five oh, CDs. Right Statutory rape rock. Call now. Someone's turning eighteen. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Tantatory Rape Rock. Get it now on Hobo Power Records. Hey, Chicka Peas, Ace Man here. Very excited. This week on Ace on the House, our 50th anniversary. Where's the time gone, Ray? I've only been here for 20. Oh, really? Yeah. Jeez, it feels like more. Check out an all new episode of Ace on the House this Saturday or visit aceonthehouse.com only on the Ace Broadcasting Network. And now, Alcoa presents the 2011 Definitely Not a Jew of the Year! Dateline, Union City, Tennessee. A 37-year-old man was charged with domestic assault after hitting his 55-year-old mother in the back of the head with a hand! Definitely not a Jew! Well, back with the Ace Awards 2011. Again, tip of the cap to Dawson and Mike Lynch and all who spent so much time making this just a fantastic show. And Larry Chris Miller. And Gary. Yes, Chris and Gary as well, whoever those guys are. <laughs> <laughs> Larry uh, announced that it was a funny show during the commercial. Really is. I've he got... seems surprised. <laughs> Frankly, I am. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, let's keep on keeping on. Um, The next category is previously awarded 
package. At a private ceremony 